الحمد لله رب العالمين وانا فري بليز توداي او توداي تو هاف بلطة جمال الشريف هي ذا بريزيدنت اوف ذا هيومن فور بيس انستيتوشن سو ان شاء الله باذن الله هي ذا تو جيف اس سم انفورميشن اباوت ذا كورونا فايروس اند ذا فايروس ان جنرال اند هاو تو بروتكت اور سيلفز فروم ذيس ثينكس وين ذي كام ثرو اور لايفز And inshallah, we will shed some lights before we start, also from religious perspectives. What should we do as Muslims? So we'll start with a few ayahs from the Quran, and then inshallah, we're going to start later, inshallah, with Allah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-raheem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Walillahi ma fi s-samawati wa ma fi الأرض يغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا Its 
ruin. So this is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We we'll just focus on the first statement from that hadith: "At Tahuru Shatru Al Iman." Cleanliness, purity, is half of our faith as Muslims. So Allah subhanahu wa taala explains in the Quran, and He tells us, "In Allah, He hates the Tawabin and He hates the Mutatahirin." Surely. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who come back to him in repentance and he subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who purify themselves. So cleanliness is a major concept in our faith as Muslims. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith that narrated by Sayyidina Thawban radiallahu anhu and also Imam Malik narrated in this hadith لا يحافظه على المضوء the one who always keeps his wudu or her wudu, they are believers. So when we make wudu quite often, we are really believers close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from the hadith too, we take that the Prophet وسلم, wants us to practice the personal hygiene. We have to clean ourselves, personal cleaning, and cleaning of the surroundings of our rooms, houses, communities, and then everything around us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to us also in the Quran, Ya Bani Adam, afudu zinatakum inda kulli masjid. O oh, sons of Adam, sons and daughters of Adam, take your zina, adornment, wherever you go to the masjid. So before we go to the masjid, we clean ourselves, we make our wudu, we get the best garment, we have some perfume, we look better, smell better, and we come to the masajid. Why? The masajid are the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a sahih hadith prevented the sahaba to come to the masjid if they ate onion or garlic. He told them directly, if any one of you eats from that tree, the garlic, they should stay home because that smell, the angels do not like that smell. Can you imagine someone who just ate onion or garlic and he is recommended by the Prophet to come to the message, what about someone who has developed a viral infection and he is going to transmit this to other people, they should stay home until they get recovered. This is what we take from the hadith of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And also, uh, the hadith is, is long and it gives us many perspectives, but we just focus on that perspective of nadafa or cleanliness. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us during these times when we have something happening, going on, and it becomes an epidemic and it's everywhere, that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-afu and al-afi. We spoke about this before. We ask Allah the well-being of all humans and humanity. When he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa al-afiyah fa inna ahadan lam yu'ta ba'da al-yaqeen khayran min al-afiyah. Ask Allah always the well-being because none of you is giving anything better after giving the yaqeen in Allah, the certainty in Allah, then the will be. And then also, uh, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said, قَالَ لَمْ يَقْمَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم يَدَعَ هَؤُلَاءِ الْكَلِمَاتِ حِينَ يُمْسِي وَحِينَ يُصْبِحُ اللَّهُمَ إِنِّي أَسْأَلُكَ الْعَافِيَةَ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ اللَّهُمَ إِنِّي أَسْأَلُكَ الْعَفْوَ وَالْعَافِيَةَ فِي دِينِ وَدُنْيَاهِ وَأَهْلِ وَمَالِ اللَّهُمَ أَسْلُ عَوْرَاتِ وَآمِنْ رَوْعَاتِ اللهم احفظني من بين يدي ومن خلفي وعن يميني وعن شمالي ومن فوقي واعوذ بعظمتك ان اغتال من تحتي. سيدنا عبد الله بن عمر as we said before he was the most close sahabi coming the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم practice. He said the Prophet did not pass a single day morning or night time except he said this dua. Oh Allah I ask you the way being in my religion, in my dunya affairs, in my family, in my wealth, O oh Allah, cover my mistakes and 
give me security. Oh Allah, protect me from in front of me, from behind me, from my right side, from my left side. Protect me from above me. And I ask you that nothing will come and harm me from under me. So this is a hadith that we should remember and dua that we should say. And also Zayn al Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib, the uncle of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one day came, قلت يا رسول الله علمني شيئا أسأله الله. O Messenger of Allah, teach me something. I will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with. قال سل الله العافية. He is giving a nasiha to his uncle, Al Abbas. He said, My uncle, ask Allah the will be. Sayyidina Al Abbas says, فما كفت أياما ثم جئت فقلت يا رسول الله علمني شيئا أسأله الله. He waited for a few days. He came back. He asked the Prophet the same question. Oh, Messenger of Allah, teach me something I can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Ya Abbas, Ya Amma Rasulillah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Afiyah, Fi Dunya Wal Akhirah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is telling his uncle, Oh Abbas, Oh the uncle of the Messenger of Allah, ask Allah the well-being and the safety in Dunya and Akhirah. So Al Abbas thought that there would be something extra or something more. The Prophet emphasized the well-being and the mental health and the physical health when he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked his uncle to say these du'as and also I will just uh, leave you with this du'a one of the most effective du'as we say as we mentioned today in khutbah we say Bismillah in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with whose name nothing in the heavens and nothing in the earth can harm me and he is the all knowing, all hearing subhanahu wa ta'ala. The hadith the Prophet says if you say three times in the beginning of the day or three times in the end of the day, nothing will come close from you. Very simple hadith. Bismillah. And also the Prophet said about the dua of Sayyidina. Hmm. Who was in the belly of the whale? Sayyidina, yes, Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salam. When he was in the belly of the whale, what did he say? Do you know the dua? Anyone knows the dua? La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-dhalimin. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the hadith in Al-Hajim, وَدَعْوَتْ ذِنُّونِ إِذْ دَعَى بِهَا وَهُوَ فِي بَطْنِ الْمُوتِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ سُبْحَانَكَ إِنِّي كُنْتُ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ لَمْ يَدْعُ بِهَا رَجُلٌ مُسْلِمٌ فِي شَيْءٍ قَدْ إِلَّا اسْتَجَابَ اللَّهُ لَهَا No Muslim who uses this dua anytime except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept his or her dua. So we remember our weakness and we say, La ilaha illa ant. This is Tawheed of Allah. Subhanak. Glorification of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inni kuntu min al I have been wronging myself. So confession of our weaknesses in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and submission for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will and power. So brothers, these are some of the du'as and these are some of the practices we should take the precautions, we should listen to our physicians, our doctors, our health authorities to pass this difficult time and we get out of it with a good faith, stronger iman, stronger relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then I will leave it to uh, my brother to Jamal inshallah he's going to educate us and enlighten us what should we do during these times we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala أن يوفقنا جميعا لما يحب ويرضى وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق والمرسلين معلمنا وقائدنا وقدوتنا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه وعلى من تبع خطاه إلى يوم الدين. رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي. First of all I would like to thank the OMA for this opportunity, for taking the uh, Sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by making the mosque the, the house of gatherings, 
not only for uh, faith, but also for uh, life matters, uh, science, art, uh, religion, uh, medicine, uh, politics, everything has come together. So everything come together in this place because this is a community place and that's what we raised uh, and we've heard about uh, the ways in the Muhammad sallallahu alaihi So thank you uh, everybody in the board of uh, OME. Uh, today we will speak about a very important topic which is the coronavirus. Coronavirus became a uh, panic. Uh, people uh, don't know what to know. Uh, don't know where to listen to the news, especially with the social media uh, misleading a lot of people. So we came today to talk about this. Uh, as you see on, on the first slide, there are three words, coronavirus, COVID-19, and SARS-CoV-2. Uh, this is a misconception between many people. Uh, what's the difference between the three names? So coronavirus, it's actually a family of viruses. It's not one virus which is attacking us. There is the MERS, SARS, other viruses being known for human beings are coronaviruses. So when you say coronavirus, it's a mistake. Uh, and when you call it COVID-19, it's a mistake too. Because COVID-19 is the name of the disease. The name of the virus is SARS-CoV-2. So this is just to clarify the names. Most of the people call them with the first, second name, less people, mostly scientists know the last name, but just for your reference. So let's talk in general, what is the virus? Virus is a small one cell uh, unit, which is very, very weak. So if you can compare it to other, other uh, germs, kind of bacteria, they are much weaker. Bacteria can live thousands of years around us in the earth, in the dust, in, in the uh, clothes, in, in the air even. Uh, they are well developed, but the viruses are very weak. So most probably they will die in, in hours, sometimes in days, but that's all. So, subhanAllah, look at this virus. It's making all this panic and it's very, very weak uh, germ. So, uh, they are uh, not response, they are no response for the viruses with antibiotics. So, this is a misconception also why we don't treat this COVID 19 with antibiotic, just to let you know, antibiotic works on, on uh, bacteria mostly. Uh, but with COVID 19, it is a virus, we need to use um, antivirals. Uh, why this family called coronavirus? It's from the shape. It, just the shape, it looks like a hill around it or a crown. In Latin, corona, it means a crown. So that's the name where it comes from. And this is the photo shows very clear that shape. Uh, remember this photo? Do you see the... Oh, remember this photo? Because we will talk about it when we're cleaning our hands. Why we need it? So let's speak about what's happening. Again, what I'm giving you today, guys, whatever information, it's up to this hour because it's a new virus. So scientists and uh, epidemiologists doing their best to discover more news about it. Numbers, so far, 144,000 people infected around the world, uh, 5,000 around, 5,400 deaths, which is a rate of 2%. Still quite good. Recovering almost 70,000. In China alone, there's 81,000 of these. Recovered 64,200, around again numbers. The death is only 3,200. Today, only 22 cases. Uh, as if I remember, 14 of them are from out of China. So they are returning from out of China. These are the numbers, guys, look here. 80,000 the 80,000 cases in China being reported so far only only 3,000 deaths 3,200 and 64,000 recovered which is 75 percent it's very good number if you look at it with comparing with other viruses it's still a very good number so don't need to panic 
In Canada, we have so far 178 cases, 20 new today, and all of them sadly in Ontario. Nine recovered, one death in British Columbia. Ottawa has three cases, I guess, I've heard just now there is the fourth one confirmed. Uh, we have seven provinces, no one in the Northern Territories. So this is a small compare between the common cold and flu, which everybody could catch yearly, and the coronavirus, COVID-19. So most of them, they will have fever. Again, I say most. Why? Because they are some asymptomatic, which does not develop any kind of symptoms. It's almost like 12 to 14 percent of the cases. Very strong bodies, they don't develop any symptoms. So most of the cases, 80 percent, 82 percent, having fever, which is common in all of them. Cough, it's a dry cough. This is very severe dry cough. Uh, and the last one, which is a little bit advanced stage, it's shortening in breath, when you can't breathe well, because this virus starting in your upper respiratory system, after four or five days, it goes to your lower respiratory system. So it's starting from the top, then down. But the most common flu and coronavirus or COVID-19 difference, it's the runny nose. Usually in COVID-19, you do not have runny nose. Again, I'm saying usually, which is, could be sometimes, but it's very, very low numbers. This is the death rate, which is a little bit scary, but again, I told you, it's only 2%. The flu, it's about 0.2%, uh, 0.2, sorry. Uh, in in COVID-19, as you see, in older age, I'm sorry, I think you don't see that, okay. Uh, in older age, it's almost 15%, which is over 80. But if you go, there's no death so far, alhamdulillah, under 10 years old. But if you go for the four under 50, as you see, it's between 0.2 and 0.4, so it's still not very high. So, the transmission of this virus. Uh, this virus is a little bit sneaky, okay? The president of China called it a devil. Yeah? So, the transmission of this virus could happen several ways. Uh, it could happen by sneezing on other people, so the, the liquid or the secret, secretion goes from you as a holder of this virus to other people around you. So why now they calling about distance or social distance, which is at least one meter. So I'm sitting near the imam, it's wrong. I have to go further at least a meter. Alhamdulillah, I know the imam was distant today, so it's okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so, it says a meter, it could go to one and a half meters, so a difference in different references in the medicine, but again, it's one to two meters, it's the best way to keep you distance from others. The second way is these droplets, they are heavy, so they don't stay for over 15 minutes in the air. So. This is very important. They don't trans, they are not transferable with airflow. Which means, if you walk behind somebody who sneezed and he had the coronavirus, usually within 10 minutes you are safe. But within this first 10 minutes, you could, a low percentage, 15%, that you could take this virus into your respiratory system. So, these viruses drop down on surfaces. The most common surfaces we have, tables, chairs, uh, doormats, but many people forget, and even WHO forget the ground. So what you do, you carry this with your shoes, you go home, and this is very important practice, alhamdulillah, most of us take off their shoes when they get into their houses, but 
still many people go within their shoes, which is very wrong. So these droplets, when they go to the surfaces, you need to touch them and then you need to touch your face to transfer these droplets or the virus. So if you do not do this practice, you are safe 100%. Don't touch your face. Okay. So this is a very good question. Can somebody spread the virus without, without uh, being sick or without showing any symptoms? Yes. There are a percentage of people, as I said, they do not show the symptoms, but they are carriers of this virus. So they could, okay? So spread from contact with contaminated surface or object, that's mostly what I see. And uh, how is the virus spread? The, this virus, thanks God, is uh, weaker than other viruses which we know from the corona family, like SARS and MERS. So they are spreading between human to human. Let me tell you how it happens. I mean, most of you have heard. It comes from uh, the market in China, in, in Wuhan city. By the way, I studied in this city my PhD. So I know this city very well. So you carry the virus? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, this, this market, uh, they have, uh, it's a wild animal market, and most people think that this happened from bats, but just to give you an information, bat is one of the animals that have a lot of viruses, basically because they live together very close. It's, you've seen them in, in videos and documentaries, they sleep together, like very, very close. So, they can have this virus, they have immune system against these viruses and bacteria in their bodies, but what happened, they bite an animal. So if you eat a bat, you will not get this virus, 100%. So this is consumption that some people eat in China bats, they got the virus, it's wrong, okay? So if you eat the bat, it doesn't matter. If the bat bites you, it doesn't matter because they can transfer this particular uh, virus. It needs uh, another animal to have a mutation of the virus. A little bit confusing what this mutation is changing in the virus RNA. So when it has this animal, first they say it's a, a snake, then they say it's a pathogen, so it's changing nothing sure. But the second animal that because when somebody killed it, it has the contact with it, he got the virus and then he spread it from human to human. Now there is some cases that human transfer this disease to animals. So it became a circle. So, how long this virus can live in, on surfaces? It depends on the temperature, of the atmosphere, it depends on the uh, humidity of the uh, atmosphere. So here's a small, small um, table. I will give the most uh, copy of this table so they can put it wherever they can or share it on their social media. Uh, it depends of many factors, but in the air, as I say, it can stay within temperature around 25 degrees, that's what we're measuring, between 2 and 30 minutes. Um, air droplet, it's 24 hours to 30 minutes. Hands, 20 to 30 minutes, uh, 5 minutes, sorry. Uh, clothes, 8 hours. So that's why we need to remember where we pray, and we will talk about this, 8 hours. Uh, wood. Uh, in, in the temperature of 10 to 15, it's around 48 hours. On the steel, it's around 24 hours. In alcohol, less than five minutes. In uh, chlor or bleach, less than five minutes. In soap of water, less than five minutes. So, uh, these numbers are not accurate, 100%, because 
in the beginning they said it can stay on the surfaces only for hours. Then a study came in China, they said it could stay on surfaces five days. I've heard that another study yesterday appeared that it's 20 days. 20 days. So again, these studies happening fast, so I hope we can get the accurate number very soon. So these are the numbers. Again, the majority of infected people are mild. So there are three stages of this virus, or four stages, but the, four, the first stage is a mild stage, which is like kind of flu. You feel dizziness, a little bit of cough, a little bit of temperature. 80% of people, which is a good number. Uh, 13 or 14%, a little bit severe, okay, which is high temperature, strong cough, uh, shortness in breath. In, in breath. And only around 5% critical, which they need to be hospitalized. 5%. So the percentage is still very good. So these are the numbers now. Recovered almost uh, 60% all around the world. In China, the number is bigger. So symptoms, when these symptoms can appear, they can appear two days after the infection, three days, four days, up to 14 days. So that's why they call it incubation period, which you have this virus in your body and you can transmit this virus. There's a study in China showed that 14% of the people recovered after the 14th day, they redevelop the virus so it means the virus still in them and they went back to hospital, 14%. So China now prolonged the incubation period to 25 days. However, the WHO still at the 14th day. So usually, as I said, upper uh, then lower respiratory systems. Uh, as I said, fever, cough, and shortness in breath, that's the most important. Then, these are the critical cases, pneumonia, when you need to be hospitalized, and people dying usually from organ failures, okay? Uh, lungs doesn't work anymore, kidneys failure, could be heart failure, because you don't have enough oxygen in your uh, body. So, this week, we, we just saw this when compared with the flu, as you see, the number in the, uh, over here, when you speak about people under 50, okay, they are like very mild, like 0.2% of the numbers. But when it goes to older people, which I'm asking you and encouraging you to keep care about these older people, especially if they don't live with you, call them every single day, especially now, they need you. Uh, so, if you look at this slide, look at the bird flu. This is how contagious it is, okay? How dangerous it is. Look at the Ebola, okay? Ebola killed almost 50 to 90 percent of the sick people. 50 to 90. MERS killed almost 33 percent. Uh, SARS killed almost 10 to 11 percent of the people. As you say, uh, coronavirus is far away from those viruses. So why we are scared? Part of that, the media. The media is. So this is a question: What to do if you get sick or if you feel sick? First of all, you have to understand that not every fever, flu kind of things, it's uh, coronavirus or COVID-19. So you have to understand, if you didn't get in contact with people who come back from somewhere or people who get this virus, most probably you are not getting this virus. So this, not, this virus not originated in Canada. If you don't get anybody or talk to somebody, most probably not. But 
in case, in case you feel or you had trouble back from those countries, from Europe now, which now declared the source of the virus so far because there are more than 20,000 cases in Europe. So you have to be wise. First of all, call these numbers. To tell you the truth, guys, I'm sorry, but they have overwhelmed. I tried to call these numbers today just to test. No response. Like, directly, it's off. So, what to do, but you have to contact them before you go to anywhere. So they can redirect you. Because if you go to hospital, what happens if you have the coronavirus, you will spread it all the way in the hospital. And in the hospital, mostly, who goes there? Weak people. Yeah? Who got diseases, heart attacks, uh, flu, broken arms, legs, whatever, children. So you gotta transmit this to these people. So you have to be very careful, you have to be responsible. How to diagnose this? Very fast. There is a test called uh, PCR. Uh, it's a swab. They take it from your nose or from your uh, throat. Uh, very effective. Most of the time, uh, they got it within one to two days, the result. Uh, in China, they stopped using this because they said it shows the virus only after two to three days. But they found that the CT scan, which is very expensive, so I don't think any country taking this measure so far, the CT scan it's showing the virus from the first day. So why they don't use it? Again, it's because it's very expensive. There is a new test uh, developed by a company in Switzerland, I think. Uh, it's a drop of blood, like you do your uh, diabetes or sugar, sugar test. It's the same. And it shows the virus within uh, 15 minutes. So it's very good. But so far in Canada, we use the PCR. Treatment and vaccine. These two words are making people crazy. Oh, did they find a treatment? Did, did, did they find a, a vaccine? First, let me explain what's the difference between two, these two words. Treatment, it means if somebody gets sick, they give him this medication so he became better. Vaccine, before somebody gets sick, they give him this medication to prophylact or to protect him from this virus. Did you get it, guys? So, all over the news, they finding vaccine. That's the most important now for them, not the treatment. Some, some labs, they are working on the treatment, but vaccine is more important because if you can vaccinate whole nation, you cannot protect all those people, but the treatment, you only protect the, what, how many, 60,000 so far, who are sick with this virus. So it's, it's important, but the most important is vaccine. Uh, for the good news, they found this vaccine in China, in the United States, but still in the developed stage. Usually how they do it, they test it in the lab, then they test it on the animal, then they test it on human beings. So in China, they did pass the first and second stage. There are seven doctors from the uh, Chinese army. They uh, put themselves on the test, which is very brave. Uh, they are the first people who have been tested on this vaccine. They went to see the patient without masks now. So they are testing if they can get this virus or not. So if everything goes smooth, inshallah, we'll get this vaccine by next maybe winter. Usually it takes a year, a year and a half to develop a vaccine. So it's, it's, it's a process. Uh, with the treatments, so, uh, so far what they do for the treatment, so they treat the uh, symptoms. Fever, uh, like Tylenol, Advil, whatever. They have uh, shortness in breath, they give them ventilation so they can breathe more oxygen. 
So that's mostly what they do. But there is some, some, there are some, some medication which proven to be good, but so far in testing phase. So in China, what they do, they bring like 20 patients, they give them this medication, 20 patients give them, I just give an example, other 20 groups. So I'll see which one reacting better. So there is this, uh, the first one, which is, uh, uh, it's for arthritis. It shows very good, very good uh, results. The second one, it's a combination be between flu uh, medication and HIV. Uh, why HIV? Because they found in the RNA of this virus similarity with the HIV virus and some with the flu virus, so that's why you're using the HIV medication. The immunoglobulin or the plasma, uh, so just let me to explain that, maybe it's easier. So when somebody gets a virus, his body tries to produce something called immunoglobulin, which is uh, the antibodies to fight this virus, to kill this virus. So whenever you get this virus again, your body is ready, you have these soldiers, they can kill this virus, simple. So in China, what they are doing now, it's only China using this treatment, they take this, uh, the antibodies from the uh, already recovered patient with the plasma and inject it with uh, sick people and it's showing very good results. Then this kind of medication with chloroquine phosphate, it's, it's well-known, very, very cheap medication for malaria. It showed very good results. Uh, there's an article we published two days ago about it. Uh, so I hope it will work. And now in Italy, they, they use this uh, remedesivir. It's again antiviral medication. Again, showed some results. So general rules. If you are sick, as Imam said, first one, stay home. Stay home. Do not spread this virus everywhere. If, whatever, even if flu, okay? You have to get responsible. Uh, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, none, none, he said none, of you could be a true believer until he loves for others what he loves for himself. So if you love that your kid gets sick of any virus, so you are free to go outside and do it. I don't think anybody of us will love that he will get sick or his mom or his dad or his son or his daughter. So you have to, if we believe in, in Allah and believe in his messenger, we have to follow their steps and do whatever they told us, not to spread these viruses. So, second one, avoid public areas, public transports for sure, stay away from others, and limit your contact with animals. Animals, they weaken your immune system somehow, so have to be very careful with that. Uh, call ahead before you go to any hospital or any clinic, especially now. Usually it's not a big deal, but now they want to be prepared. So call before you go. Wear a facial mask, we will talk about the masks. Uh, it's very important if you are sick to wear a mask, and that's the recommendation by WHO now. We'll talk about it in, in more. Cover your cough and sneeze. We call it the sneezing etiquette, which is sneezing in a towel or paper or tissue, throw it, or in your helmet. Okay, this is the best practices so far. Clean your hands often. I don't know how much I want to emphasize on this. We'll talk about it separately. Then uh, clean and dis disinfect the surfaces at your home. You don't want to spread this disease to your children too. So this is very important. So in coronavirus or in COVID-19, these are the most important things. But so far, recently, they added one, which is uh, social distance. This is the first one so far. 
social distance, keep a distance from others, so don't go to crowds. Yeah? Uh, over here, as we see, the first one, strengthen your immune system. Why is the first one? Because 80% of people get COVID-19, their immune system rejected this virus and killed it. So if your immune system is strong, don't worry. Don't worry, it will become like a mild, as, as a small flu and that's all. But if your immune system is weak, you're done. Okay? How to strengthen your immune system? It's a whole lecture. Eat well, sleep well, vitamins, uh, pray, meditation, uh, vitamin C, zinc, uh, be aware of where you're going. These are important things. By the way, I have a YouTube channel and I have a lecture there. It was published today. It's in Arabic, sadly, but it's all about the, him, the immune system. So it's like 20 minutes, one. Second one, wash your hands. Guys, I had received a job yesterday from a friend of mine. He said in 1980, we were dreaming that in 2020, we will see flying cars, uh, rockets taking us to the moon. But the fact, in 2020, we're teaching each other how to wash our hands. It's a shame. We still forget that washing our hands, it's very important. I have a friend of mine here, Dr. Muhammad. Uh, he's a surgeon in the Jordan uh, military, military hospital. So, Dr. Muhammad can be, uh, he's a surgeon. So what they teach you in, in medical school, do not use hand sanitizers before the surgery. This is secondary. The first one you have to use, it's a soap. So, wash, 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 brush, brush, brush. Then maybe you can use this, but can you use this alone? No. Hand sanitizer do not kill all germs. You have to understand that. So what killed the germs? I will tell you why now. Only the soap. This is very important. We'll speak about this. Third, don't touch your face. This is critical in this virus. So if you touch a surface and there is a virus, don't worry. Go wash your hands. You're okay. It will not go through your skin. But it will go through your respiratory system and eyes. So there is coughing, avoid sneezing uh, with, or avoid contact with the sick people and stay home if you are sick. Again, it's the same thing. Let me put one important message here. I would say it's number one, before even the uh, social uh, distance, clean your ears. What? What to do with it? Or it doesn't go through ears? No. Clean your ears from misinformation. Misinformation is the killer of us. We are panicking today because we are misinformed. We have, I've received today maybe 60 wrong information about this coronavirus. Through WhatsApp. Okay? People don't know. But get this information from reliable sources. Public Health, Health Ottawa, uh, WHO, Ministry of Health. These are the real, reliable. Don't take them from over internet, Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever. Okay? So, the first thing to know to kill your enemy is to know him. If we know the virus, we will kill him. If we, doesn't, if we don't know the virus, he will kill us. So don't depend on these sources. Please, please, please. So the differences between the soap and the uh, sanitizers or the health gel hands. These usually kill bacteria. 
So many of these companies have been sued because they write 99% of germs. Okay? So it's general. But actually they are very good for bacteria. Viruses mostly not that much. And if it's under 60% of alcohol inside it, uh, it doesn't kill the, the viruses. How to use it? This is alcohol. It disappeared very fast. So if you don't use it right, it's. Uh, you to okay. If you don't use it right, it's useless. So it's the same way as we washing our hands: internal, external, between fingers, thumbs, and then the rest. Did we forget anything? Yes, nails. This is very important. And believe it or not, it's already dry. So now whatever I do, it's useless. So why I'm telling you, using the saw. How to use the saw? Or why we use the saw? Remember the first picture we saw? Do you remember it? The, the, the shape of the virus? So the virus has a membrane or an external. It's it's a lipid, it's fat. So this one would not dissolve this fat and kill the virus, but the soap has the ability, which soap doesn't matter, uh, disinfection soap, normal soap, or any soap, it's okay because it goes and uh, destroys the uh, fat bonds and that des destroys the virus, okay? So, these are the bacteria actually, uh, if you use the hand sanitizers, working on, and those the down bacteria doesn't work. So, have to be very careful which can. So, how do we, we wash our hands? This is a practice we need to know, to teach our kids, our families, 20 seconds minimum. 20 seconds minimum, 20 seconds minimum. How to remember? I teach my son to sing happy birthday for five times, happy birthday this sentence, or maybe A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or whatever you want, just to keep you remembering, okay? Try it, it could help. So first of all, you open the water, you put water on your hands, then use the soap, okay? After that again, internal, so you have to wash everything in your hands. Internal, external, between fingers, yes. between fingers, thumbs, rest. Somebody recommended under, but it's mostly rest. And then your nails. Okay? This is, will take you almost 20 seconds. So if you do it properly, then you put the water, you wash the soap. Don't Use the water and wash because you need the salt to be on your, on your hands. Sorry. <clears throat> so after you finish, dry your hands with the towel. Dry your hands with the towel. It's very important because if you have wet hands, easily to get more bacteria. And use the towel to close, especially if you're not home, somewhere out in public, use the towel to close the, uh, the tap. Symbol? Make sense? To wash the paper towel? They wash it and then they put it towel at all? You mean that these kind of towels? Yeah, they wash them. Yeah, you have to wash them before you use it. Yes. Throats? Through throats? It comes through your nose and mouth to your throat? To your bones, it's not throat, throat it goes to your stomach, yeah. So you're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is very good question. I, I know this guy heard it from somewhere uh, that you, if you if you
you have a dry uh, throat, so you will get this virus easy. Uh, this is a misconception, especially when coming to Ramadan, guys. Don't panic. So there is nothing to do with your throat if it's dry or not. Drinking water is good for your immune system, but if you drink water, does this virus go from your nose and mouth to your stomach and kill it? No. Because it goes inside your cells. It doesn't stay outside. It goes inside your cells. So this is wrong information. Wuhan. Uh, we will get to the questions. Wuhan. Do you know this city? China. Have you heard it? Yes. It's where this virus started, yeah? Nobody knew this city before, but now it's very famous. So let's use this name, as we all know it, to know what are the best measures to protect ourselves. W, wash your hands. <laughs> U, use the sneeze etiquette. H, have your temperature regularly measured. A, avoid crowd. N, never touch your face. Easy? Easy? I love it too. It's not my invention. Somebody sent it to me. So, masks. This is a very important subject. And people asking, what is the difference between N95, medical mask, surgical mask, homemade mask, all these questions coming around. So if you are not sick, you don't need to wear masks so far, except if you're going to see sick people. So masks first are made for one-time use. So whatever, you can wash your mask, you can put it in the microwave, all these doesn't work. It's made for one-time use. When you can reuse it, no, never. How, when to throw it? When it's wet inside or when you take it off? Expire date, okay? Some information came if you are sick, you have to put the white inside. If you are healthy, you have to put outside wrong. The blue or the yellow or the whatever the color, usually it's outside because it has the filter. Inside it has kind of a plastic, material to resist the uh, liquid from your mouth and your nose so it keeps it inside. So wearing it upside the wrong way or upside down or front back, it doesn't work, okay? How to wear it, how to take it off is very important. This is how to wear it, this is how to take it off. You do not never touch this part. Why? Because this is the dirty part. You put it on your face to protect yourself. Not to take it from this way and then your hand is very dirty. Wash your hands before and after. Okay, we've heard about N95, which is now around $60 this one. <laughs> Crazy. Guys, do not buy these ones. I'm telling you why. Because it doesn't fit your face. These ones are only for medical doctors. And they need to make a fit test. Fit test. So it doesn't mean that you bought it in Amazon, it will fit your face. Your face is different than mine, different than his, different than the boy, the shape. So in medical, in medical facilities for doctors and nurses, they do fit tests, which testing them if, if it does fit him or not. There's sizes of it. So if it doesn't fit you, it's useless. Well, it's not useless, it's not protecting 95%. Why now the WHA say don't wear masks, okay? First, it will scare everybody around you. Somehow it's good, you know? I'm scared of you, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> second, second, using it, now we have a uh, Less like less mask in the market, so I will go to your question. Yes, I know, I have seen. And now we have less in the market than what we need, and these very important for medical doctors, for nurses, for health workers to keep them safe. So they need them more than us. And third, 
they are became very expensive. You don't need to use them. So I will teach you how to do homemade masks. Somebody is traveling, yeah? This is a normal towel. It will not protect you, I'm telling you. It will not, any mask will not protect you. But what it will do, it will keep you safe from touching your own face, which is very important. So, uh, I don't know where is the second, here it is. So, just normal towel, uh, just, you put it again, open it this way, put it around your ears, and you're okay. This is a mask. Another mask that I, I invented. Invention. You know, sometimes we need to invent it. This mask. <laughs> it's better? Star Wars mask. Yeah. So it's a normal glasses. I have them from Rogers. Thanks, Rogers. Not advertising. A normal sheet of uh, paper protectors and two clips. That's all. What happens? This mask will not protect me from viruses spreading because it can go from one side, but at least will protect me from touching my face. Uh, as you see, I have this Google. Why? Because again, you need to protect your eyes. This mask will do all three in one. Okay, we'll start production tomorrow in China. <laughs> so this is the question: Can mask? prevent coronavirus? It's very debatable questions. Do you need to wear mask or not? The WHO, it's not my recommendation, WHO say no, you don't need. So stick with that. So far we are okay, not all. We have only three cases, guys, so we don't need to panic. How to be prepared? Uh, you've been to Costco recently, no? People getting mad, crazy. Two weeks ago, the Minister of Health stood up and said, please guys, go have some groceries for at least 14 days. The second day, she said, for 30 days. Nobody listened. We need to panic to, to, to step in. I have no clue why we are so lazy, okay? Now it's time, so I, I ask every one of you, go online, shop, it's, it's very hard to go to the store, it's even worse than ever, you know, it's like people fighting for, for crazy things, no, toilet paper, it doesn't cause diarrhea, you don't need that much of toilet paper, you know, you would be okay without toilet paper, but we will not be okay without food, so canned food, water, uh, prescription, very important, go to, to your uh, doctor, to your nurse, to, to uh, pharmacy to get the prescription at least for 15 days at home. Uh, hygiene products, cleaning things, uh, first aid, thermostat, uh, thermometer, sorry. Uh, thermometer is very important to, to measure your temperature, the temperature of your family, and some cleaning supplies. These are very important, you don't need a lot. You see, I have, I still have a toilet paper. But you need one, two, what? I don't know how many we can use. Alhamdulillah, we're doing tashrif, which is very good now. We don't need this toilet paper. So, do we have to panic? No. Do we have to worry? Number stars. No, number never lies. Do we have to be afraid? No. Do we have to overreact like Costco members? No. But you have to be prepared. Again, how to be prepared? Know your virus, know what is it, more reliable information, social distance. Are you with me, guys? Know the virus, social distance, immune system, washing your hands, and never touch your face. Five very important things. Be prepared. These three things about Muslims, and they are very important for everybody. Uh, I've heard uh, somebody on the media saying that, Alhamdulillah, we are Muslims, and wudu is, is protecting me from this virus, is enough. Uh, I just want to add for what he said, he gave 
half of the truth, but not the whole truth. So how many of you, tell me the truth, how many of you go make wudu and wash your hands before wudu with the soap? Good boy, good boy. Little numbers, and this is true, me too, I never use that. Until I realized that what I'm doing, I'm washing my hands for three seconds, which is not enough, without salt. Then I put the water where? In my mouth. Then I put it in my nose. So I will come 10 million viruses, which is enough to kill the whole ummah, in my mouth, without knowing that I am harming myself. Wudu is very good things because you start with Nia and this Nia purify your soul first. Then you go to the second step to purify your body. But let's do an extra step. Wash your hands with soap 20 seconds before the Wudu. Then you do the Wudu, especially now with the coronavirus. It's a good practice to do it every time. I know some people do it always. It's important. So please, please, please do it. Now is the time to start. Second is prayer mat. I've seen Barakallahu uh, Fikum and the Council of Imam yesterday sent a request for everybody to bring his prayer mat. However, I didn't see anybody of you guys brought one. Why? Do you remember? Eight hours on the clothes. So if somebody he came from wherever, you know, Italy or England. He came to pray here. He didn't know that he has the virus. I don't say it intentionally. And he sneezed or did something on the place you are praying after him. Within eight hours, you could get this virus. So, to protect yourself, it's very important to bring something, put it on the floor, a praying mat. It's, it's, it's good. You just carry it with you, okay? You could put tissue. tissue, a towel, clean it after. I use my, my, my tie and put it always in front of me. It at least protects me somehow from the virus. So using a tie, it's a good thing if, if you wear a tie, you know? Not every day, huh? not in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as I said, uh, I would like to thank the mosque, thank everybody. If you have any questions, please. I know that the guys yes. answer sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Can you speak Can you speak up? Up? Yes. This one? Can you reuse it? Nothing you can reuse from masks. All these masks are one time use. So $60 then on the ground. Go on. So, very good question. Why we, we use the mask when we have the coronavirus? Not to spread it to others. So if you are sick and you feel sick, it doesn't matter flu or coronavirus, you have to stop this virus from spreading to others. So that's the main reason why to use masks. Or if you are in the medical field, you want to protect yourself by using a special mask. I know that guy needs, yeah? Okay, so you know the, uh, the six or seven doctors Yes. Yes. No, they had the vaccine. Yeah, different vaccines or, or the same vaccine? The same vaccine. So far they had one vaccine in China, yes. Yes, go ahead. transfer it directly to human beings, so don't worry. If it's the vampires, not the vampires, don't worry. <laughs> You're okay. 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 
So, very good question. If you have a cut in your hand, does this virus go inside your body? No. It will die. It will not. It, the only ports to enter your body is your nose, mouth, and eyes. These are the only things. So if you touch your back, it's okay. Is there? I mean, uh, mess. It's not. You can use it. You can use it. What would be a plan for the mystery garden? Yeah, this is for the What is the goals of the plan? Yes, the plans. We, we are planning, inshallah, with the the Council of Imams, the, uh, they met and they uh, are trying to uh, watch the situation. Some massage they cancelled the Jum'ahs in GTA, and some uh, a masjid here in Canada cancelled the Jum'ah today. Uh, the thing is, uh, we are trying to uh, uh, protect ourselves from these things. If we uh, come to know that coming close from each other and the crowd uh, it is a very good environment for viruses so the scholars and the imams they may decide to uh, stop Salat al-Jum'ah for some time and if they do announce that uh, each one follows the imam of his boss they announce that there is no Jum'ah there is nothing haram because in these situations we have to take all the precautions to prevent spread of the disease. So if the masjid says there is no Jum'ah today, you can pray so at home for Raqqa and you will get the same as inshallah So it depends on the situation and the uh, council of imams here in, in Ottawa Gatima, also in, in GTA, they are meeting and talking like I receive messages every minute from both councils and they are talking serious talk and many mosques maybe more than 50 or 60 60 percent from the mosques in gta they shut down Jum'ah today and they closed for Jum'ah because the, the numbers of uh, disease and the infections there is higher than other so we follow the masjid i come to ome so i follow if they announce there's no Jum'ah this week i don't panic I just pray at home for Raqqa with the intention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help me and give me the Lord, inshallah, with the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can the virus survive in high temperature, say, between 5 degrees or? High temperature or? Oh, uh, this is a question uh, all over the world. Uh, you mean if we have like 60, 40 degrees, 45, it's good. Uh, so viruses in general, they will uh, stop acting or they will slow their action in higher temperature. But it doesn't mean that they will die in this temperature. For example, now it's summer in Australia and so far they have more cases than what we have. There is some cases in Africa and in Gulf, it's higher temperature than here in Canada. So yes, viruses love 25 and under, but Above that, they could live. All scientists predict that this virus will end by the summer. Again, it's prediction. We don't know. How What is the range of transmission ID if it was a virus? To how many people around that person can be spread? Oh, yeah. So this is called a replica factors. In, in medicine, every virus has its own. Uh, factor of infection. So uh, usually in flu it's 1 to 1.2. In this virus particularly it's about 4. So 4, some cases 6, it depends on, on the flu. But yes, so one person can infect 4, these 4 can infect other 4, which is already 16. Uh, 16 will affect each one of them four which is going, going crazy so it's it's that's the that's the danger in this virus the speed of spreading the virus it's crazy we never seen something like that so far in that big scale yes.
something so if you hear a masjid closing don't don't panic because you know where they are coming from because our our jumaas and jamaat we are very crowded in jamaat usually and we are very, very close from each other so protecting each other will take over coming for salat jumaa in that specific case yes go ahead young boy The virus? He's just saying it, what happens if the, the, the virus touches something electrical? <laughs> it will get zipped and die. <laughs> Most probably, yes. Yeah, it, it goes to humans. If it touches the electricity, that's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, any questions? So, just one of the things that I would like to emphasize rumors. Rumors are sadly uh, affecting us badly uh, there was uh, some there were some rumors in iran recently about alcohol drinking uh, sorry alcohol kills uh, viruses which is right but people get this misconceptions and start drinking alcohol stuff from Allah. They, I can, 26 people in iran died from overdose of alcohol guys not from the virus they could live they died from overdose of alcohol so this is how panic can kill us so that's why i want to emphasize on this do not listen to all these <laughs> gospels all these messages from facebook and, and whatsapp listen to what your healthcare provider says what's the people with, with knowledge because you don't know where it comes from. So be careful, be careful. Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen. So Aisha is coming very soon. So uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the Ummah from all these kind of diseases. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-afwa wal-afiyah fi al-deen wa al-dunya wa al-afati al-hamad al-rahimeen. Allahumma afina fi abdanina wa afina fi asma'ina wa afina fi amsarina. Allahumma ahfazna min bayna aydina wa min khalfina wa an aymanina wa an shamalina. Allahumma ahfazna ya rabbana min fawqina wa na'udhu bi arhamatika anu utala min tahtina ya rabbana rahimeen. اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من البرس والجنون والجذام ونعوذ بك يا ربنا من سيء الأسقام اللهم اشف كل مريض مسلم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اشف أمراضنا وأمراض المسلمين اللهم عافنا وعاف كل المبتلى يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ارحمنا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم تقبل توبتنا واغسل حوبتنا اللهم وفقنا حتى نتوب إليك ونرجع إليك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اجعلنا من المتوكلين عليك من المقربين إليك اللهم خذ بنا ورسيلا إليك أخذ الكرام عليك يا أرحم الراحمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وجزاه الله